Hey guys, welcome to Planning with Crystal. Today's advent calendar unboxing is the Space NK Fragrance Advent Calendar for 2023. So this is the first year that Space NK have actually done a fragrance advent calendar. It was a bit of a shock to me. A shock probably a bit dramatic. A surprise. So they released the Space NK like beauty calendar they do every year. I unbox that as well if you want to check it out. That has now sold out and they've then released this. Um, apparently the beauty one isn't coming back. I, I only know that from things I've read on social media where people have asked the question Space NK have said no. I buy these calendars myself so I've got no relationship with them so I have no idea you know what's going on. Anyway um, this has got 16 items in it but it's a 12 day calendar so nice to see that we'll get more than one item behind some of the days. So in this video we're going to unbox the whole calendar. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Really pretty. I actually think this is a nicer construction than the beauty advent calendar because first of all I love the fact that it's like a big cube and you like open it up um, and it opens up the way it does and um, but the drawers are a lot more kind of like a structured solid drawer where you could reuse it whereas the beauty calendar is just like a series of boxes that sort of seems to struggle with the weight of some of the products so I prefer the constructs of this calendar not that that massively matters but you know we're here we're unboxing it why not just like discuss it as well so I've researched some like scent notes and what the brand says the product smells like because the thing is with fragrance first of all I'm awful at pronunciation and probably not the best at explaining fragrances anyway but the most important part really is it's going to smell differently on you than it would on me and um, plus if there's 16 different things in here by the end I'm not going to be able to smell anything anyway because we get to that point where you kind of it all starts to smell the same or you stop being able to smell or something like that so anyway in this video we're going to unbox it all together and then you'll hopefully see if this is worth picking up as a calendar or you might just be watching it because you like seeing what's in the box either way let's do it Day number one, and we're starting it off with a full size product from Diptyque. So, this is the Parfum Hermist in the scent Eau Capital 30ml, one fluid ounce. I've used their Hermist before, they are very nice. A little bit pricey, this is £55, and it says this scent features the notes of pink peppercorn, patchouli, rose, and bergamot which works to awaken the spirit and enliven the senses throughout the day. So, you know, it's like, yeah, you're paying £55 to spray your hair, but do you know what? It's going to awaken you. It's going to enliven your senses. I love the way they write these things. Diptyque Hair Mist Eau Capital releases a refreshing, spicy, yet floral fragrance. For the best results, spritz the mist on after the hair has been dampened in cold water to help strengthen the locks. Ooh, so I like the sound of that. So it's going to do some strengthening as well as smelling really nice which is a bit of a surprise. I thought it was just going to make your hair smell nice. I didn't know that thing about dampening it either. So it's a nice little tip. Day number two. And today we get a kind of sample side product from Byredo. This is Bal d'Afrique Eau de Parfum. So this is an 8ml or 0.27 fluid ounce. We've had this size in a few um, like fragrance kind of sets and things that we've unboxed together recently. It says spray, but it's actually like a dabber. You take that off and dab it on the skin. It is not a spray. I think Bal d'Afrique is probably my favourite of the Byredo fragrances. You might be thinking, no, this other one's nicer or what have you. Which goes to show we're all very different. Um, but yeah, it's 8ml, so it's going to last a while. I do find Byredo fragrances last quite a while on the skin, as they should do for the cost. So 100ml of this fragrance would be £200. So basically, per mil, you're talking £2 per mil. And there's 8ml here, so we're going to say price per mil, it's worth £16, just to give you an idea of value. By the way, if you like fragrance calendars and you want to see what Harrods did this year, this sold out quickly as it always does, I'll put a card here and you can check out my unboxing of that fragrance calendar. But it's, it's nice to see we're getting more and more fragrance calendars on the market. Day number three. Today we have two items. All right then. So first of all, from Juliet has got a gun. Lust for Sun. So all the fragrances are Juliet has a gun. I don't know what that's all about. Um, but then... It has something added on for the other fragrances. In this case, Lust for Sun. Hmm, not so sure about this one. So this is 5ml. Now you can get a travel size, which would be 7.5ml for £20. So it's worth a little bit less than that, probably around the £15 mark. It says, created with top notes of bergamot, coconut and freesia, this floral fruited fragrance features heart notes of gardenia, moi, orange blossom and ylang ylang. Its bottom notes include ambroxan, musks and vanilla to round out the fragrance profile. I don't think I'm a big ylang ylang fan. I think that's what's putting me off with this because everything else about it sounds really nice. But again, it's like no substitution for actually trying it on your skin, is it? 
Then a travel size from Ellis Brooklyn. This is Myth Eau de Parfum, 10 ml, 0.33 fluid ounce. So you're going to have to buy it in this size. It's got a spray on it and it's got a metal lid and it's a glass bottle. This one's a little bit more me, I must say. So you can buy this travel size, the 10 ml size for £32. And it says Myth is one of Ellis Brooklyn's best selling fragrances. It includes top notes of bergamot, ambre seeds and cassis, as well as heart notes of tiger orchid, pink lotus and jasmine pearls. The fragrance's base is composed of patchouli, white cedarwood and liquid musks. I didn't think I was a big jasmine fan, but again, blend it with something else and it smells a little bit different. I don't think I know what I like. I think until I smell it, and especially obviously smelling it on your skin, it's hard to know like what you like. Plus, I find like fragrance can be a little bit mood based. So I will go with my mood if I'm feeling a little bit playful. I might have a different fragrance to wear as I'm feeling quite serious as much as crystal is ever serious you know um, but yeah i like to wear maybe different fragrances at different times in different situations and dependent on mood and i guess having a calendar like this with like a range of fragrances allows you to kind of cater to that without having to buy loads of like full sizes does anyone else do that or is that just like a me thing do most people just have like one fragrance and that's it or do a lot of people have a lot of different ones i don't know day number four and actually if you like fragrance don't forget my joe malone advent calendar unboxing that definitely had a lot of fragrance as you'd expect anyway today from tori birch we've got electric sky which looks really good because i wanted to try something from their range Ooh, ooh, yes oh yes i like this that was like an instant oh yeah oh mm, yes favorite so far definitely the Electric Sky fragrance features top notes of blue sage and violet, alongside heart notes of cactus flower and responsibly sourced lavender. The fragrance is completed by base notes of Paolo Santo Accord and Vetiver. Tori Birch is dedicated to empowering women and female entrepreneurs. That is a very random thing I did not know. Um, I will have to double check the price on this. For some reason, I haven't uh, got that, but it's 10 ml and 0.3 fluid ounce, which I would tend to say is usually the size that they would sell it in as like a travel size, but I'm not sure with this brand because I don't know a lot about it. I mean, I know Tory Birch, but I don't know a lot about the fragrances and the price and structure and stuff. So I don't know if like it's one where you can buy it in this size or if you have to get like a set of so many, if you see what I mean. But yeah, headline, that smells amazing. I don't even know how I would describe it. It's just fresh and instantly puts you in a good mood. I like that a lot day number five and we have got two items today so this one is quite interesting it's by a brand called 11 which is new it's new to space nk as well and this is a perfume oil it's 10 ml or 0.34 fluid ounce now this is like a rollerball which is my least favorite way to apply perfume because i don't know what it is about rollerballs i never feel like i'm getting enough product out like it never seems to go down or come out or i just we don't get on me and rollerballs i'm not a fan um, anyway, this does look like an interesting product and I've never seen it before. So this is the 11 fragrance oil. It would usually be sold as a full size for 20 mil for 80 pounds, but this is 10 mil. So it's half of a full size. So worth about 40 pounds. It's vegan and cruelty free. And it says developed with top notes of floral geranium and rose. The stunning scent also has hints of fresh citrus to make it easy to wear during the day or night. After a few hours of drying, it warms to reveal a touch of soothing amber and patchouli. 11 perfume oil is a multitasker that can be applied as a traditional fragrance used to infuse a bath with aroma or applied before bedtime to produce a soothing mood it can also be smoothed onto the hair or be or beard i wasn't you read something and you're like beard i, I, did, I, I didn't expect that word and um, to create an enduring exotic and energized scent see this is interesting to me because i can't understand how something that soothes you to sleep at night would also be energized as a scent like i don't understand how it can be both surely it's one or the other i don't know that it does it all i shall have to try it out and see then from replica we've got lazy sunday morning which i do like this scent i already have this in like a travel size one i bought um a travel set once of the replica fragrances but the ones i've got are in like a traditional thin spray bottle whereas this is in like a little bottle like this and it looks like it's like a dabber style one oh, this is another one though that's like super fresh i mean just with a name like lazy sunday morning it just conjures up images of like i don't know a calm chilled relaxed 
start to the day. I mean, I don't know what, what that would smell like, but it's a lovely fragrance. Again, I think if you like the Tory Birch fragrance that I've just smelt, you'll like this because they have in some ways some similarities, or certainly they both appeal to me anyway, um, in a similar kind of way, although I don't find it lasts as long as I'd like it to. It's described as a floral fragrance. I would have said it was more fresh than floral, but okay, we'll go with what the brand says. Like a morning in bed with a delicate notes of creamy white musk and lily of the valley. And this one is a 7ml, so it is only like a kind of sample size. 30ml would be £58. Pounds. 58 divided by 30 is 1.93 times it by 7. So it's worth about £13.53. And that's how I work out how much things are worth price per mil. Usually I do it on what I consider to be a full size, but we're in video working things out, so I'm trying to do it as quick as possible. But to kind of give you a rough idea, yes, it's a sample. It's not a full size. It's not a travel size, although it's not far off the size of the travel size. There's still a bit of value there, and obviously it's a nice way to try it. But still, I just like people to know exactly what things are kind of like worth, or at least have some kind of an idea so that you're not going into it thinking everything's full size and everything's worth loads of money. It's not always about that, although obviously value versus content it is worth £500 a pound with the whole calendar. Day number six, and today we get a fragrance from Boy Smells, which I've only ever known their candles before. I've never smelt their fragrances, but this is Rose Load Genderful Fine Fragrance Eau de Parfum, 10 ml, 0.34 fluid ounce, manufactured in the USA. It has notes of rhubarb, cardamom, pink peppercorn, rose petals, Turkish rose absolute, raspberry blossom, papyrus, agar wood, and sandalwood. This travel size you can actually buy for £35. It's in a glass bottle with like a plastic lid, which I always think for like a pricey travel size, I like a metal lid. Yeah, I've now hit the point where I can't smell it. I can only smell the other fragrance I sprayed on me. I knew this was going to happen. So let's go and like look at the scent notes. It says, Rose Load will tap into your inner compassion with a generous dousing of Rose Absolute awoken with textures of pink peppercorn, cardamom and papyrus accords. Raspberry leaves and rhubarb bring vitality while dark woods keep you grounded. Do you see what I mean? It's not no longer just about having a fragrance and thinking, oh, that smells nice. It's now about like a new mood, a new mindset. You know, your day will be defined by the fragrance you wear. Imagine that. There's a book in there somewhere, isn't there? Day number seven, and this is super heavy because fragrance isn't just about what you spray on your skin. Sometimes it's about candles. So this is the Rose Ink Uplifting and Balancing Signature Candle, 190 gram or 6.7 ounce. So I tried to do some research on this and I actually couldn't find this candle for sale anywhere, not even on the brand's website. So I don't know what that's all about. Like, I don't know if it's something that they're bringing out for Christmas, like as a limited edition and it's coming here first. I, I don't know. I was hoping to be able to do a bit of research and tell you what it's worth. I would say it's worth probably 30, 40 pounds from this brand in this size. It has a nice kind of ceramic lid like this and the pot it's in is ceramic as well. It says rose ink there on the front. There we go. Thank you, camera. So it's cut in there where it says rose ink. It smells very, very florally, like really whew, like rose kind of in your face rose. A sensuous candle featuring the signature rose ink scent that creates a serene atmosphere while eliciting true feelings of well-being. It just smells like a bouquet of like roses or something to me. That's what it smells like to me. Um, yeah, so difficult, like I said, to tell you much more about it because it's like it doesn't exist. It's just the rose ink candle in the signature scent. And I had no idea what their signature scent smelled like. Well, now I know. Day number eight. And today we have got something from Aqua de Palma. This is a Colonia Club. And it's got dots between it like it's an acronym for something. C-L-U-B. Eau de Cologne Natural Spray 12ml 0.4 fluid ounce. See, this looks like it should be a travel size because it's in its own little sealed box. It doesn't look like a sample. It looks like something that's almost been prepared to go on sale in this size, if you know what I mean. Now, I can only find this size in a set of three for £82, which would mean this would be worth about £27.33. In terms of scent notes for this one, it says woody musk eau de cologne with top notes of bergamot, lemon and pink pepper, heart notes of shisho and rosemary, base notes of cedarwood and musk, light-hearted, vibrant fragrance. The box looks quite masculine with the green and the gold. So if I were to guess, I'd have said it was more of a kind of masculine men's fragrance, but 
I'm not sure. And to be honest, I quite like masculine scents, so I don't subscribe to all that. I will just wear whatever I like the scent of. Day number nine. And today we get a fragrance from Joe Loves. I have spoken about this brand before and I have unboxed the calendar. I bought the calendar, I think it was last year and possibly the year before as well. This one is Pomelo, which is one of the ones I really like. This one is in a 15 ml or 0.51 fluid ounce. It's a little glass bottle. Um, this one, it says, breezy citrus notes are endlessly refreshing and announce your presence in a lively, joyful way. The scent of fresh grass is the perfect way to welcome in the warmer months and bring back memories of holidays during the colder ones. The grapefruit aromas add a depth and richness to the scent without weighing it down and vetiver adds a hint of forest fields and an alluring natural complexity. So price per mil based on 100 mil being £115 this would be worth about 11 50 I'd be inclined to think it would be more if they sold it in this size because they do the fragrance paintbrushes which are only 7 mil and they're like £40 then you do get a refill so it's kind of like 14 mil but either way it's not like as much and they do 10 mil versions of this which cost quite a little bit more from what I remember maybe like £20 or something so not that much more but this is 15 mil so more than 10 mil anyway hard to work out exactly but it's a really nice fragrance it's one of the ones from the range i particularly enjoy day number 10 and today we get a full-size fragrance from laura mercier this one is ambre vanilla eau de parfum 50 ml 1.7 fluid ounce laura's fragrance inspiration combines two of her favorite notes to create a unique interpretation all of her own the soft sensuality of amber blends effortlessly with the warm comfort of vanilla to create a fragrance of feminine elegance and sophistication it's infused with fresh floral notes of tangerine tiger orchid and heliotrope and enhanced by almond brown sugar coconut and musky sandalwood the effect is an intimate personal fragrance that is rich yet discreet i just get vanilla to be honest and this is what it looks like it's quite a simple bottle i have read that this lasts like all day on people's skin now again clearly people's skin is different because for me i only got a couple of hours before i couldn't smell it anymore so i'd be interested to know if you've got this how long this scent actually lasts on you this is a full size and it's worth 70 pounds day number 11 and we get two things in here first of all a travel size fragrance from floral street i feel like we've got this in another calendar in this exact scent anyone who has a better memory than me please do let me know which calendar it was um, but this is sweet almond blossom 10 ml or 0.34 fluid ounce and this one has got pink pomelo vanilla apple blossom and tonka bean and in this size which is a travel size it retails for 28 pounds we have then also got the almond blossom candle also from floral street is it me or just lately a candle's kind of set weird in the jars can you just see there where it almost looks like it's coming away from the jar i assume that's normal it's probably to do with the type of wax or something it just says floral street and van gogh museum because i think they did a lot of that in conjunction a lot of the packaging in conjunction with them it's a 75 gram or 2.65 fluid ounce size Hard to price this one because they don't sort of seem to sell it in this size. A 200 gram candle will be £38. This is obviously less than half the size of that. It's got pink pomelo, passion fruit, mandarin, matcha tea, apple blossom, heliotrope, tonka bean, creamy vanilla and sandalwood. So some of the same notes of the fragrance but just slightly differently balanced for the candle. Oh, it smells really nice. I actually prefer the scent of the candle to the fragrance personally. Day number 12 and two more fragrances so the first one is from eccentric molecules this one is eccentric molecule number two um this is the 30 ml or 1.05 fluid down so i think it's the refill one the only difference between refill and non-refill is the lid does it come with the lid or not basically retails for about 50 pounds and it says this fragrance includes top notes of an austrian lemonade called alm dudla as well as lime mandarin bergamot and juniper berry the heart of the fragrance is built on notes of green jasmine bud freesia ginger clary sage pink pepper and aris while base notes of musk ambroxan vetiver and tonka complete the composition the final fragrance in this calendar is from malin and guts it is their rum oil or dark rum oil to be exact 9 mil or 0.3 fluid ounce and this is actually like the full size believe it or not of the oil 
this is what it looks like. I really like the scent of this. I've spoken about the hand wash and the body lotion and stuff before from this range. I'm not the biggest fan of the perfume oil because it's a rollerball, but again, for some people, an oil will actually last a lot longer on the skin than a fragrance. For other people, it's the other way around. So this actually retails in this 9ml size for £29. It's just an identical fragrance to Malin and Goat's Dark Rum Eau de Parfum. This product has an oil base for a longer lasting, more intense scent. The perfume oil combines the mild sweetness of rum with rich, warm undertones. It has top notes of bergamot and plum alongside middle notes of rum and leather. Its base notes include the scents of amber, milk and patchouli. So that's it, Space NK's fragrance calendar. I really like the way this opens. I just think, oh, I'm gonna break it, Anna. I just think it's cool how it like folds out and I wish I had more room. There we go. It's good fun. I like it. Um, it may still be available, it may not be. It depends how long it took me to film and edit this video. Um, hopefully it is still available if you're interested. Obviously, as usual, I posted about it on Instagram and on the YouTube community pages. Make sure you're following both with notifications turned on if you want to know when products like this go on sale. As usual, the calendar and all the products inside will be linked in the description box if you want to check any of them out or make a purchase. Some of the links in the description box are affiliate links, which means I may get a small commission if you choose to make a purchase through one of those links. It doesn't cost you any extra, by the way, and I really appreciate all of your support. There's also some discount codes and things under there if you're doing a little bit of beauty shopping. So I really hope you've enjoyed watching the video. I would love it if you give it a thumbs up. It lets me know you're enjoying the content I'm producing. And I'd love it if you subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to be notified when my next video goes live. I've still got lots of advent calendars and things to unbox, just trying to fit it in with like life and stuff because I do have a full-time job. This is my little YouTube hobby. Um, so I do appreciate all the support and you guys keeping me making these videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.